I'm pleased to see you all quietly gathered here. Excellent. All citizens who are righteous and happy exemplify a beautiful state of perfect harmony. And thus, unhappy citizens are truly nothing but useless, no, injurious to this country. Now tell me, are you all happy? Terrifying. Hey, what was that? Don't tell me that weird blowhard was... That's Yoshiki. He's the general who rules this country. Lord Yoshiki, a general who lords over his land in the name of a purported love. He may look like a Buddha, but he rules the citizenry with outright violence and constant national surveillance. He claims his authorization authoritarian rather rule is an act of love but the blatant oppression of his subjects suggests anything but ah, it brings me such joy to see my citizens display their love for me today once again peace reigns in my country as it should be yes sir only possible because of your love lord yoshiki Oh, you're exactly right. Yes, this is real love. Lord Yoshiki! What is it that you're doing? I can't see Lord Yoshiki is speaking. Oh, it's quite all right. Go on, speak. Yes, sir. Well, some time ago, my family had the honor of being selected to join your labor of love. But many moons have passed and they still haven't returned. Bro, they are so dead. Hey, what you now? Are you objecting to Lord Yoshiki's method? Uh, of course not. I, I would never. I, I, I just... I miss my family. Well, this simply won't do. All citizens of my country are my family. He can have you join them, in like, words, in death. Your family is my family, and I will not let you endure such sorrow. So, they can come home? Oh, I know. How about this? You may also participate in the labor of love. That way, you and your family can be together again. Isn't that nice? Let me see my family again. Why, of course, I'll make the arrangements immediately. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Lord Yoshiki, always so compassionate. His love really is endless. Now, listen carefully. Remember that my love will always watch over you. Yes. You see his true love. These eyes of love see all. <laughs> okay, freak. It looks like his face has like a seam down the middle and it'll like open up to be something else As you inside. Can see, this is the current situation in our country. On the surface, Yoshiki serves as a well meaning ruler. That surface seems to be paper thin at best. Yes. It is all merely a false pretense Yoshiki uses to serve his own ends. He claims the cameras are for safety, and that he takes people away to protect them. However, he only wants to be rid of any potential dissent that threatens his power. He mentioned something about a labor of love. That's gotta be... It is exactly as you fear. Though he calls it love, people are actually taken to a forced labor camp. Once he takes them, most never return. <sighs> How do you know so much, Yukiko? It's because I myself had to flee from Yoshiki's castle. After learning of Yoshiki's crooked ways, Miss Yuki took us with her and escaped. Yet 
I was only able to bring a few people with me. The rest are still. Hey, but if you know the crap he's been doing, why don't you tell everybody? Well, you see... Even if you spread the truth, people think so highly of you, love, that they wouldn't believe you. You're exactly right. Just like Madarame. There's no point trying to convince them with words. They need to witness it with their own eyes. And most of the other villains from Persona. That's why all I can do for now is hide these citizens here. Oh man. This is even more troublesome than Marie's kingdom. <sighs> he kept going on about love, but he's nothing more than a con man, huh? Don't forget about the slavery too! <sighs> He's a dictator who exploits his people. I'll never forgive him. Right? <laughs> Is that obvious? That's just that you tend to act before you think when it comes to injustice. I'm worried you'll charge into action all on your own. Uh, hey, I wouldn't do anything that stupid, you know. We just got here and I still haven't witnessed everything firsthand. But if it's as Yuki says and these injustices are being committed, no, we can't lose sight of our purpose. The goal of the Phantom Thieves is still to return to your original world, correct? Yeah, but we probably have to, like, kill Yoshiki for that to happen. So in that case, I'm here to help you make that happen. We appreciate it. But you can't exactly say Yoshiki is entirely unrelated to our goal, right? What do you mean? It didn't bring us home, but the door we used to get here was in Marie's castle. Basically, because she was the ruler of that kingdom, the door was in her place. So if we followed that logic, it wouldn't be strange if there was also a door in Yoshiki's place. That's true. But we don't have any leads, so it might be worth investigating. Furthermore, there's a good chance that Yoshiki is already watching us. Because of the cameras, the chances of resolving this peacefully are... Swayed by my peace talk. We're coming to this again. Basically, we're saying that picking a bone with Yoshiki suits us just fine. Basically, what we're saying is that violence is always the answer. You guys. Yes, I agree. Bring it on, Yoshiki. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. We're only fighting we absolutely can't avoid it. And Yeah, yeah, I know. What was that half-hearted response? You're too easy to read. Oh, excuse me. May I have a moment? Do you all intend to fight Yoshiki and the Aizen Squad? Is that what they're called? The uh, Aizen Squad? They work for Yoshiki, and they're responsible for keeping the public order. However, all they do is control people through surveillance and violence. Demons. The fight we just had was with... Yes. They were members of the Aizen Squad. As you have seen, they'll rush in if they sense anything amiss in town. This may be a bit difficult. If we move recklessly, we'll cause a commotion like we did earlier. We'll have to do something about those cameras first. Any ideas, Futaba? Hmm. Well, if there are cameras throughout the entire town, it's unlikely there's only one surveillance site. They would need to have several places around town where they can monitor the footage from the cameras. If I can hack into the system from there, I might be able to blow up the entire network. Okay. Threat system in the Bakumatsu era Japan? We've got a plan, no, sort of. Yuki-san, do you know where these surveillance sites might be? I think so. The Aizen Squad has several bases located inside the town. So, if we're going to make a move, we need to target there first. Please wait. Do you really intend to fight the Aizen Squad? We're prepared to if we must. Oh, but we won't involve you or the citizens. Oh. Miss Yuki, maybe they could... Yes, you're right. From what I've seen, it would appear you're all quite skilled in combat. Of that, I would like to ask you all for a favor. 
There are rumors of another labor camp at the Eisen Squad base, much like the one at the castle. If the rumors are true, I'd like you to free the people imprisoned there. There's even a chance my family might be there. Please, could you lend us your strength? So that's how it is. What do you say? Let's help them. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I agree. In addition, we still owe you the crusaders. I'm on board too. Let's bust them all out of there in one go. Wait, really? Thank you very much. I'd like to offer my thanks as well. Of course, I will also do my best to assist you. Although you are all very skilled, the Eisen Squad has far too many members. It would be unwise to fight them head on. Then you have a plan? Yes, though it will require a bit of traveling. Once your preparations are finished, I can show you the way. Looks like we're gonna leave the hideout. Well, let's make sure we're prepared for anything. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm getting dizzy from this constant turn of events. Seeing as we probably can't avoid combat moving forward, we'll want to get our forces in order. Lavenza? Oh. Hey, isn't that... Hello. Thank you for your efforts. This is Lavenza calling. I am relieved we still have reception here. Now, it does seem I shall be able to continue aiding you. May I have a moment? But there is something I wish to tell you first. Please come to the Velvet Room. There will be a portal you can look for on your end once again. Hmm. As before, you will be able to come and go freely through it. Well then, I look forward to seeing you. A summons for Miss Lavenza? I'm counting on you. Does she need something from you? How am I supposed to know? In that case, why don't you go pay her a visit? Persona obtained. New weapons are available in the shop. Okay. Ugh, it's forcing me to go to the velvet room. I have so much money, by the way. I want to do my Meeting. skills. I've been waiting for you, trickster. With your latest life or death battle behind you, it would seem you have stepped into new territory. The place you find yourselves in now is a new metaverse linked to Marie's kingdom. What you're saying is... It is a second kingdom, so to speak. How many kingdoms are there? Unfortunately, I do not know. To my knowledge, this situation is beyond even my master's purview. I deeply apologize. I'm sorry I cannot be of more help, but if there is one thing I can say... Any escape from this predicament will depend entirely on the strength of your wills. I know. <laughs> Ugh, I was preaching to the choir, wasn't I? Your readiness is one of your many boons. But be careful. You will undoubtedly cross paths with other fiercer adversaries yet. Needless to say, I will be here to support you as best I can. The reason I have called you here is to inform you of a new secret fusion rite I just finished preparing. It can be used to strengthen the power of your personas even further. You can now fuse three or more personas as materials. All personas fused by this rite will be powerful. What shall you do? Please use it to your advantage and so as to be prepared for the fearsome foes that lie in wait. Okay, multiple fusion. Fusing three or more personas together at once will allow you to create special, extremely powerful personas. To perform this type of fusion, you will need all personas specified for each results. Any required personas that are registered to your compendium but are not currently in your inventory can be used 
in the fusion for the standard withdrawal fee. You may not do you wish to perform a fusion? Apparently. So then, make your decision. Okay. We can make Floris. Which will have Mighty Cleave. Melee attacks will also hit units one square to the left and to the right. That's insane. Um... How much does this cost me? <laughs> so expensive, but fine. Okay. Increases damage dealt to downed enemies. Garu, or Mighty Warrior, increases attack when targeting two or more enemy units simultaneously. Um. Hmm. I think I give you Garu. Is this persona acceptable? So that you don't just have passives. Yeah. One moment, please. Okay. I have that now. Are you finished? Ah, is it time for you to leave? I must say, the state I found this room in had me quite startled at first, but I have since become quite accustomed to its workings. <laughs> you really love that mask, don't you? In fact, tinkering with this and that is most enjoyable. Eventually, I should be able to show you a new ritual exclusive to this place. No doubt this will take some time, but I will give you notice when it is ready. Greetings. Until then, may you have good fortune in battle, and please feel free to come by any time. Until next time. Okay, bye. New skills are available. All right. I do not have any quests. Report. Supplemental resources. In the report menu, you can read information on characters and key terminology, as well as view previously seen material in the image and movie section. So for this, let's see. Precisely. Is it this? I just want them to stop saying new. Ah, yes. Is it this? Hmm. Image. Examine the picture. Understood. Examine the pictures. Understood. <laughs> it's memories of past events. <laughs> See you around. Okay. Um, let's look at our skills. And then I think I might honestly stop for the day because I'm getting pretty hungry. Okay, you... I want this, I think. If HP falls below 50%, recovers some HP and increases damage of next attack. No. I don't want that, actually. Hmm. Increases movement by one after dashing. Reduces damage and cover. Increases ranged attack. Increases knockback. Increases movement. I think I want to work on like this stuff, so I don't think I want to use his points yet. Okay. Morgana has 21. I want um, chance to knock down. Tar oh, I do want this. But that requires 30, and I only have 21. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, this does reduces SP cost of attacks skills by half upon getting a one more. Or increases skill range by one square. That's kind of nice. I think I actually want this, so I'm going to get the SP thing, because she needs SP anyway, because I really like her um, Agi and Maragi nonsense. Okay, you... What does this do? When KO'd, automatically revive with 1 HP, so it's an Endure. Further reduces damage and cover, increases movement, increases knockback, movement, greatly reduces damage. I think I wanted your ability to follow up twice. I'm gonna get that on you, and if I decide I don't like it later, I'll get rid of it. Okay, for you, we have... When attacking multiple targets, HP and SP restores proportionally to the number of targets. Okay, that sounds, like, amazing. Okay, when charge is active, ranged attack increases by one square. That's useful. I think I'm gonna take this. And then we'll get this next. Um, Fox, I probably can't really buy anything useful for you right now because you only have 16. Um, chance to knock down target when shooting from high ground. Actually, yeah, we're gonna... Give me this so that I can just get this next turn. When at max HP, movement increased by two squares. Ooh. Okay, let's just do that. You can't get anything right now. Okay, that's gonna be it for them. Um, yeah, I think I am gonna stop here for today and we will be back with Persona 5 Tactica sometime next week. Not sure when, but definitely sometime next week. Better jot that down. So let's go ahead and save. And then, yeah, that'll be it. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.